This is Duke University. Hi, I'm Lucy Dix Moreau, a rising senior in Trinity College at Duke. I'm a public policy and Spanish double major with a minor in global health. I spent my summer last year researching the politics and economics of intellectual property and human rights expertise and mapped out the structural bias present in technical assistance programs. In developing countries, professional education and technical assistance training often dispose policymakers towards stronger intellectual property IP agendas in negotiations and lead to national policies that can conflict with human rights. Overly broad reliance on IP to finance innovation can have detrimental impacts on human rights, including pharmaceutical patents that restrict access to medicines, textbooking sof software copyrights that add burdens to education systems and limit local adaptation, media copyrights that restrict adaptations for people with disabilities, patenting copyright limitations on scientific research, copyright and trademark restrictions on freedoms of expression and cultural production, and crisscrossing IP monopolies that limit the freedom of undercapitalized entrepreneurs to bring their enterprises to market. I had had previous experience researching other topics in the same field to prepare me for this project. During the spring semester of 2013, I served as a research assistant on the project Conflicts Between International Investment Law and the Right to Health in Latin America that is part of the ongoing project Alternative Dispute Resolution Transparency, based at Stanford Law School. In particular, I researched investment cases between corporations and governments hosted at the World Bank that reviewed environmental, health, and other state regulations. I focused on mining disputes in El Salvador and compared the mobilization of evidence and political leverage in these cases to other cases concerning health issues in Argentina, Bolivia, Ecuador, Mexico, and Uruguay. Prior to my research last summer, I completed an independent study on law, technology, and development as well. It consisted of readings on intellectual property and international human rights law and their application to development issues. From this coursework, I compiled a list of contacts for interviews during my research project. Finally, I obtained IRB approval before beginning my research. My summer project established an overview of the current IP and human rights education and training available for policymakers and professionals, including training programs, assessments, funding, content bias, and policy effects. Throughout the process, I analyzed the politics and economics of structural bias and the kinds of IP training offered to policymakers in developing countries. My work ultimately informed my thesis plan on the bias in intellectual property and human rights in international development and training programs as I explored the interface between IP and human rights law and policy. By interviewing representatives at organizations such as UN agencies, the World Bank, USAID, human rights and technology NGOs, commercial associations, and the State Department, my research aimed to gather various stakeholder perspectives on trends in intellectual property training and education. At the same time, I determined the impact structural bias in IP training has on human rights. These findings helped narrow my focus for my thesis during my senior year. Without the Franklin Humanities Institute, this research would not have been possible, and I would like to take the opportunity to thank them again for helping me in doing so. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.